Hey guys, in this video, we explore the ELM-327. In basic terms, what this is, is a Wi-Fi OBD2 port reader. This thing costs about 7 quid on eBay. How it works is basically plugs into your OBD2 port, connects via Wi-Fi to your phone. You can decide what type of app you want to use, some free that do very basic things, others paid for that do a lot more. The app I've gone with is OBD Fusion. Gives you telemetry on everything that the car's doing. So let's take a look. Step one is to find a compatible app. I've chosen OBD Fusion. This is a paid app. It's 9.99 in the app store, but it gives you a lot of detail in regards to what's happening with the engine. First step is to connect this into, into your port. You have a ray of lights across here in the front, ranging from red to yellow, green, and blue. Get the device, plug it in, and you should see a red light appear. Once that's done, turn the ignition for the car. Then go for your Wi-Fi settings and select Wi-Fi OBD2. Once that's done, you're pretty much ready to go. Open the app and it will give you a whole array of different things that you can do. From settings to diagnostics to dashboard readouts to logs and even performance mode now. So you just hit connect at the bottom. The first time you go through this, you will have to give it a bit more information about what car it is that it's connected to, engine size, things like that. Once connected, you can go into diagnostics. It'll bring out a list of codes, if there are any. This is the main reason that I use this app, is dashboard. On your dashboard, you get a readout of all engine spec. You can basically click and hold any of these and edit them as you need. You can change the display size, the type, you have different options such as digital gauges, boost pressure readouts. This is mainly what I'm using it for only because I still have the stock boost gauge. It's not very accurate. It just says zero on one end of the scale and 1.2 bars on the other end. So it doesn't actually give me a specific readout. At the bottom here, you have your accelerometer readout. On the first page, you've got engine temperature, which at the moment is sitting at 75 Fahrenheit. You have your miles per hour, mass airflow reading, fuel rate. For this one, you will have to set it up and tell the app exactly how much each gallon costs in your area and it will work out the rest from there boost pressure vehicle speed this is pretty much the same as the first page o2 sensors let's turn the car on now and i'll show you exactly what it does make sure we're in neutral we don't want to hit that tree as soon as we turn the car on you'll see it come live you can circle through see that the engine temperature is slowly rising the mass airflow rate so as you can see this is live information and then as I accelerate boost pressure changes accordingly so that's pretty much it guys thought I'd share it with you it's cheap and cheerful if you have an iPad install as well and I'm sure it would look pretty epic let me know what you think of this device or if any of you guys have got anything similar to this in the comment section below and that's basically it for today let me know what you think of this guy in the comments below leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one